Hey there, it's Gwen Stacy, and I'm on the Intricate Effects server, and this is episode 16. So in a previous episode, I did a stackable wheat farm, and it harvests quite a bit of wheat, but I had wanted to do a sorting system, and it wasn't quite working the way I'd liked. It kept getting, the items kept getting all mixed up, and um, it just wasn't really working. So I approached Fred to help me with that. And so here's a little clip of that. Hi, how you doing? Good, how are you, Fred? I'm doing great. So great, I've great. Been, um, I called you, or I sent you a, a message. Wait, what did I do? I gave you a book. <laughs> I totally you, you visited. Out. You visited the Redstone Consult. Yes. <laughs> I did. I visited the Redstone Consult because I'm having problems with my um, farm. It's getting clogged up. The sorting system, I understand. Yeah, the, the sorting system. It's, okay. It's got 12 layers, so it's no wonder that it gets clogged up. So let okay. me show you what's going on. Okay. Over here. Let's see if I can let you in. It's down, yeah. down here, down this trap door. We can take the um, fast way and jump down the water hole. Well, every layer looks like this. Oh wait, no we can't because we took the water out of the bottom one. Oh, well, let's take the ladder. Yeah, I don't want to die. <laughs> Although it probably, it probably would be okay. It would just hurt a little bit. These farms are really cool. I like how you have different colors. Oh, thank you. I'm still working on um, getting enough wool. So oh, it, yeah. It's a work in progress. You can't just make 12 stackable wool farms. I could, <laughs> <laughs> but they wouldn't be automatic. <laughs> right. Okay, so cool. This is your sorting system that's yeah. getting clogged up. So what's happening? Like the eggs are ending up in your sorting? Yeah, so when I turn it on, um, I have eggs stopping or I don't know I have a certain number of eggs in the items and um, it's sort of just flushing everything into just random chests yeah it, it does that at the uh, community farm sometimes whenever I don't know what makes it maybe lag or something causes mm -hmm, it at the community farm we're not because we're not sorting as many as much stuff as you are at the community farm so it doesn't happen all the time, but I can definitely see why it would happen yeah. every time with I'm you. So Using it to the max. You've got a chest right here, I see. Yeah, I put the chest there hoping that that would, that if the items went into the chest first and then it kind of trickled out from there, that it would help with that. Yeah, that doesn't really work as a buffer, I don't think, unless you um, lock the chest and store the items in there for a bit so i think we can use that to our advantage and um i bet we can fix you up okay that sounds great and um so, i've got supplies i can um i'll fill up this chest at the end i've got some stuff but let me know if there's anything else that you need that that looks like it'll be plenty um well i'm gonna need probably some sticky pistons okay i can, I can provide them or you can provide them i don't care Okay, um, well, you would know how many you would need, so right. I, can, I can provide you with materials. You can let me know how many you use. Okay, so I think to start out, um, I'll, you know, this initial consultation, I think I'll charge you a diamond, um, depending on how long it takes me to fix it or how, I'm, well, I guess since you're providing materials, we won't factor that in, so, um, just on how much time I spend on it. If it takes me a long time, I'll charge you a couple diamonds more. If okay. not, I may just only charge you a diamond. That sounds great. That sounds perfectly fair. Can I give you the diamond now? If you have it. I, um... Oh, look at that. You got an ender chest down yeah. here. So in case you need anything. <laughs> oh, wait. You threw it in the water. Uh... Oh, look, you got an achievement. <laughs> Yay! That's what I was hoping for. <laughs> 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 well, it's cool you have the inner chest here because then I can put the diamond straight away. Yeah. <laughs> I should probably fill in that water. <laughs> I, got, I got random water in my floor. <laughs> well, okay. um, I want to let you know that you are a part of my 50th episode on the Intricate Effects server. 
Oh, wow. Yeah, so I you feel, should feel special. I do. I feel special now. <laughs> but um, I won't. I'll, I'll get to work on that right away, but I probably won't have it in this episode. We'll have the consult. So um, look forward to the 51st episode, me fixing your farm for you. Awesome. Thank you. Yep. Yay. All right, Gwen. Well, All you right. have a good day. You too. Thanks so much. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Fred came in here and he, um, he fixed up my sorting system. It works great now. Um, he installed this T flip flop. And so if you want to see more of that, um, you can check out his video on his channel um, and see exactly what he did in here. Um, that part works great until I discovered one problem. The amount of items that come through here, it takes longer than five minutes for them all to come down. Well, for them all to go through the hopper. So after five minutes, they poof and they're gone. So that's a whole nother problem I'm going to have to fix, which right now I basically just come up here, make sure I have space in my inventory, jump down and pick them up. And that's the simplest way to actually get all of what I should be getting from the farm. Because I was finding that I would plant a level of um, carrots and potatoes, which is the most obvious because the rest of it's wheat. And I just get hardly any. I wouldn't even get as many as I planted back. And it's because it took longer than five minutes for them to come through and they were just disappearing. So the whole reason for this is that um, I want to be able to earn lots of emeralds in order to trade with villagers and get armor. But in 1.8, um, the villagers have different trades and they don't, the armorer doesn't have all the diamond armor that they used to. So I spent a lot of emeralds going through and opening out trades so that there's now armor available, which I can now buy. Which this guy, his last trade is diamonds. So that's not real great. Once he's sold enough of these, he's going to want four diamonds to open it up. Which isn't very good, but it takes a lot of emeralds to open up all of the trades. So if we keep this map for 1.8, then I'll still have these villagers and I'll still be able to trade with them. But if we don't, it doesn't matter anyway. And... I won't have my farms, which probably I probably wouldn't make such a large wheat farm because while emeralds are still useful, there's less things that I would want to buy with them. There's, I mean, there's a name tag. You can, um, in 1.8, you can buy a name tag, with, which is really awesome. So today's mission, I thought I would get the animals out of my house. And while I wanted to build a barn, I still can't decide where to put it because this whole area, I would have to level it out, which I, I might do that. Um, and then this area, I'd have to also level it out. So I can't, I'm having trouble visualizing where to put everything. So I think since I'm just sick and tired of animals being in my house, I think I'm going to do more of a temporary fix and just move them underneath the um, the farms. I've got some space, some like little areas down there. Wait, where is it? One of these levels. Yeah, I did have sheep in here, and I moved them lower so you can't hear them from the surface. So I might just move them so that I don't hear them in my house. I still haven't decided exactly what I'm going to do with that. Whoa. So I do think that my farms are going to go somewhere over here. And I'm going to go ahead and start adding dirt and see if I have enough to level this area out. 
which I kind of don't think that I do. I've got two stacks of dirt, but there's also areas that need to come down a little bit. So we'll see. Maybe it'll just take a while for me to level this part out. So usually I do a lot of the planning um, ahead of time, but I have not had a lot of playtime recently. And I had hoped to play this weekend. And then this weekend ended up being really, really horrible. I was taking my dog for a walk and the neighbor was opening their gate to, to um, get their car out of their driveway. And their dog ran out and without any hesitation, wrapped its mouth around my dog's neck and started trying to kill it. And so I ended up spending all the evening taking the dog to the emergency pet clinic. And um, it was just, it was just horrible. Like she, she's probably gonna be okay. Um, they had to do surgery on her and stitch her back together. Um, but it just, the whole experience just sort of haunts me because usually dogs sort of like, they come up and they start barking at each other and they start circling and growling. This dog did none of that. This dog just quietly and directly came straight out of the gate and without any hesitation put her, ma her giant mouth around my little dog's neck. Like just instantly. And I was... um. I don't know, I always look things up on the internet when <laughs> I want to know why things are a certain way. And I read that that's a predatory instinct. Like, that was a predatory attack. That wasn't a dog sort of, like, posturing and, like, you know, arguing with each other. That was, that dog has a predatory instinct where it, it just went to, it just went straight for the kill. Um... I, now I forget what I was down here for. Oh, I think I need some shears. Because I want those. Uh, I don't need them. Yeah, I want shears. I'll just grab some. Make some. Even though I probably I probably left them at the sheep, sheep farm. So, that kind of like... I don't know. I've been sort of distracted because that was really upsetting. Um... And I really haven't felt like like playing Minecraft or anything like that to like plan out what I'm gonna do. Um, I just keep thinking about like that horrible dog, and I guess the owner said that they just got it. They haven't had it for long, and that it's really good with people, but they're finding out that it's got this tendency. And now I'm wondering like. How many other animals did this thing kill for them to find this out? And it was, I mean, the thing is, is this dog was a golden retriever, which every other golden retriever I've ever seen has been super friendly and just like really sweet dogs. I've never seen one like this that was just straight out killer instinct. And I know little dogs get attacked by bigger dogs all the time, but usually... Like, in my experience, the little dog's talking crap. The little dog's, like, not backing down, and the big dog's like, oh, yeah, chomp. But no, this dog just straight out went for the kill. And I, yeah, it was pretty horrible. Um, the owner came out, and the dog backed down when he was there. Otherwise, I don't, I don't know what would have happened. So I know that's not really a fun story. That's pretty, uh, pretty, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> I don't want to leave you guys on th that note. Um, but that's what my weekend's been like. And yeah, that's why I've kind of not, I've not been online. I've not been answering my questions. I've not been answering my mail. I've just been kind of in this blah mode right now so don't forget to check out fred's video on his fix of my farm and um i will continue to be working on figuring out where my barn's gonna go 
and whatnot. So till next time. Bye.